Contemporary composer? Good. That's a pretty good answer. Do you know that this piece is one of the three, what's called the war, the war sonatas? It's about the war, about the Second World War. Do you know that? No. You have to know that. Otherwise, a lot of the things in here, you would not know how to do it. Okay, so I would encourage, if you are playing this kind of level of repertoire, you really must get to know your piece. Otherwise, you will be missing a lot of the really great things that will help you to understand and play your piece better. So, the first thing, the first thing I'd like to let you know about it, it's about the war. And therefore, there will be a lot of the chaos, very chaotic moments in this piece. Now, the very beginning, and again, I love to have my students play their music with a lot of imagination because I think that's how they can emotionally attach to their music. The beginning, would you play just the beginning one more time, a couple of lines? I would like the audience to sing. Now I gave you the hint, it's about a war. What can you imagine at the beginning? <laughs> What do you imagine? Anybody? Anything is better than nothing. Yes, what are you imagining? Aha! Can you imagine the march? It's the Russian, Russian armies. Would you all do that? You know, would you march on your, on your feet when she plays? Okay, ready? Beginning? One, two, and go far away because it's not loud yet. One, two, ready, march. Okay, now, because they're marching, I would suggest you don't deviate from the tempo when you play the scale. Because when they're marching, what happens when you change their tempo? Your army is going to fall. So, make sure you don't do that. Okay, one more time, march that. Ready, one more time. One, two, ready, and. One, two, 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 one. Okay, so the very first thing I would encourage you to do is to keep an absolutely steady tempo and then imagine you are doing the march. Okay, that's going to make it so much, much more um, to the character of this one. Now, the next thing, uh, earlier I have said to all of you, you have to observe and really watch what the composer left on the music as a clue for you. Would you play this one more time the way that you play it? Okay, listen. Okay, that You play differently than what you played the first time. How, how did she play differently? Anybody who was listening, and if you know this piece, you would know what she did differently. The first time she played, she didn't use pedal for that section. Would you show them the way you played the first time? Okay, now add the pedal to it. Okay, stop. This is something different. This sounds very different. What did the composer say on the music? This is the strangest thing. I'm going to show them. Okay, would you show me the music? Very much. On this part, how long is the pedal that Prokofiev wrote? Oh, like eight measures long. And he didn't mark pedal anywhere except that. Because he knows that in other places, you would use your best knowledge that you know what to do, but there, he wanted you to use pedal the whole time. So you don't want to make sure, like, make yourself feel like you are smarter than the composer by changing his way of doing music. Okay, so would you really hold the pedal that way, the way that Prokofiev wrote? Starting from here, don't have the pedal off until when he says off, okay? This How does it make the music sound like? 
it, it creates a very, very unique and different kind of sonority, doesn't it? It almost sounds like it's somebody dreaming, dreaming about something. And you know, in the chaos of a war, you are hoping that there's something that's comforting. And I think maybe that's too young for the young people like that to understand. But if you are playing this piece already, you must. You need to know. Okay, so here, what, what do you think in the dream that person is dreaming about? I mean, you can imagine anything you like. For me, I'm thinking, this person is thinking about his childhood. Like, oh, I was, you know, when everything was so good a long time ago, I was playing with my brother on the street and we are just tossing the balls everywhere. Something like that. Okay, so would you play that one more time? Have some kind of imagination about two children playing like somewhere, having fun, doing things. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> is her balance. Which hand is the melody? The right hand. How many of you heard a very clear melody from the beginning to the end? Well, they didn't. So you, it's your job to make it better. How do you make the melody come out? When you play that G, aha! Prokofiev tried to help her out. Do you know what he did? He left a clue on the music for her. You know what he says? Okay, I'm gonna let her tell you. What did, come, what did Prokofiev write? Um, mezzo forte on the right hand. Prokofiev well, wrote mezzo forte on the right hand. And what did he write with the left hand? The piano. He left this secret clue for you. And you didn't find it? You played the right hand how? The way that she played, I would have thought the right hand is piano. Don't you? Yeah? So I need you to do what Prokofiev wrote for you. Okay, one more time, right there. They all want you to do more on the right hand. Okay, one more time. Okay, I think her right hand is not now coming out. But do you think she knows her left hand as well as her right hand? Somebody, you know, people are smiling. Now, would you play the left hand by itself? Let's hear it. Okay, what's the biggest problem about the left hand part? It's not even. We need a very steady left hand. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Ready? Listen to it. Ready? Go. Left hand. Ah, what's happening? What's what's hard for her? The jump. Okay. What what do you need to do to make the jump easier? How would you practice it? Try that. Legato, but you already have the pedal. What are you doing the hand legato for? You're not trying to make it even more legato than what the pedal can do. So I like you to see whether you can play left hand totally not legato. Like that, and use the pedal. Let's try it. Okay, do it slower. Okay, that's already better. Now you can do a little bit of the legato feeling, but not totally. Okay, try that. One more that's not good. And you know, you know what you do? Whenever you have something that's not good, you have to circle it. 
Okay, ready? Okay, stop. Did you hear something that good so far? Yeah? Don't ignore that because remember, if you don't fix it now, when do you have? To, when will you regret? Aha! Uh -huh. You don't want to do that. You want to fix it now. Okay, here we go. Okay, stop. You have two very, very good measures. Can you make sure you can play those two measures three times? That's it. Yeah, second time. Good. Third time. Ah, oh, you missed the third one. One more time. Good. Second time. Third time. Now I can trust that you got it. And what did you earn as a prize? The next step. The next no, I'm going to give her a bigger prize this time. How about the next measure? <laughs> okay, here we go. Good, that far. And then I would do that three measures for three times. I think if you practice that way, it's going to sound so great that you can make your right hand come out beautifully. Okay, that's what I would suggest for this section. Now, this one, would you play that from here? Okay, now, this really needs imagination. What do you think those repeated notes are for? Would you play that? What can you imagine? Say it louder, somebody. Don't shout. Don't shout, you're absolutely right. Lots of arm weight. And then, 
Now, this is where I lost your company. Would you go from there? Okay, now, just one second. Come with me, come. One, two, one, two, here we go. One, two, ready, and one, two, one, two. Know how to count this part, do you? Do you? Okay, this is one, two, one, two, one, two. I write a lot on my students' music for the big beat because if they know where the big beats are, they can come. Okay, would you play slowly? Let's come. One more here. One, two, one, two, one. When it doesn't work with the big beat, then you subdivide. Let's count one and two and slowly. One and two and ready. One and two and one and two. Okay, uh, would you hold this for me? Now, this is gonna be one and two. That's what you need to do. Okay, would you say that clap and say that? So, one, two, three, four. Da, 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 da.